Hey everyone, welcome to this SQL interview series of Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to write a query to find the max column value without using the max function. Most often people get confused that no, there is no other way to get the maximum value of a column but that is wrong. There is a way to get the maximum value of a column without using the max function and that can be done using the correlated query. So let's go to our SQL workbench and write a query for that and for this example we will use the grade table so let's see the grade table first so I'll write select star from sql interview dot grade table now you have raw id here marks here and grade here suppose you have to get the highest marks or the maximum marks from this marks column without using the maximum function so how you can do that so the first thing what you need to do is that you need to get the distinct marks from this table there might be a possibility that 10 of the students might have got the same mark saying that 90 90 90 so 90 will be repeating 10 times for different students right so what i'll do is that i'll simply write select distinct marks from SQL interview dot grade table. Once this is done, I'll give an alias to this table as A because I want this query to act as an outer query. And then I'll write an inner query which will interact with the outer queries column and it will evaluate the marks and then give the output. So after this what I can do is that I can simply put a condition saying where 1 is equal to and then I'll put the subquery here saying that select count distinct of marks from SQL interview dot grade table as B where A dot marks is less than equal to b dot marks so what i have done over here is that i have taken this a dot marks from the outer query okay and i'm comparing it with the marks from this inner query and this is the example of correlated query and this condition where one is equal to gives the first or gives the maximum marks value so if you put 2 here, this will give you the second highest. So what I'm trying to say here is that this correlated query will give you the highest value of marks without using the max function. So the query works something like this is that all of the distinct marks value will get evaluated with the inner queries marks. So for example, assume that in front of this 92, you will have 92 getting compared with 92 then this 100 will get compared with 92 then this 98 will get compared with 92 then this 96 will get compared with 92 similarly all of these 15 records gets compared to each other and the highest value will remain at the top so let's run this query now you can see that the highest marks is 100 right to check whether our query is correct or not, let's put select max of marks from SQL interview dot grade table and let's run this part. So by using this max function, we can see that the highest marks is 100 and without using this max function, we are also getting 100. So this is how you can find the maximum column value without using max function. If you want to learn more about SQL from basics, you can click on the left hand side of this video. And if you want to practice more SQL interview question, then you can click on the right hand side of this video. Happy learning and see you in the next video.